Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Okay, evening everybody. It's a lovely evening, about half past seven. Monday the 13th of May. Uh, beautiful evening. Sun's a couple of hours away from setting yet. I'm out on my rabbit for mission tonight with the impact. Steve Allen's still got the Dreamline doing a video review. So, uh, so we've got the impact again tonight using the JSB Hades in 2 2. And we're going to be trying something new a bit later on, um, which is this, which is a 3D printed bracket. Steve Allen sells on his air gunology website. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, they're 40 pounds each. It basically allows you to use this with the X site as a, a built in rangefinder. Now, this links to the X site by Bluetooth, but obviously, with it being handheld, um, it's difficult to line up with your scope. Uh, and use while you usually shooting off a bipod or if you're trying to use it with one hand um, but what the bracket does is basically gives you a mounting for the rangefinder to sit at the side of your scope uh, this is the laser transmission window here, that's the receiver, that's the optical viewing window, and it puts the uh, transmission window in line with the center of your scope. So when it's dark and you're in night vision mode, you press the button on top of the rangefinder, you'll see the uh, laser flash on the target, and it will automatically adjust your X sight to the distance, which is what the auxiliary ballistic rangefinder does. The ATM produce which is about 400 pounds so my rangefinder cost me 180 pound off eBay 40 pound for the bracket so 220 quid you've got a day handheld rangefinder and a night built-in rangefinder uh, it's got little windage and elevation adjustments on it that's it excuse my bandage fingers I burnt myself uh, if Chris Packer masks, I did it dragging baby foxes out of a farmer's oven. But uh, the reality is I burnt it on a cup. Uh, never microwave a cup that's got a metal handle or a gold painted handle. And on the bottom it says, do not microwave. And I saw that while it was on the draining board while I was running my hand under the tap afterwards. So, uh, lesson learned there. Um, okay, so, going to be out tonight with my hire car because the golf's gone in for some work where they broke the air conditioning so I've had to pedal that all the way out to my permission tonight yeah it'll do just about to get the impact in the boot the Dreamline wouldn't have gone in um, I can see a few rabbits in the distance but I won't be able to get close enough yet so I'm going to set myself up at a warren that's here for now for a while and then move down there later on when it gets dark uh, okay, so we're going to do a bit of zero in just to make sure everything's straight and then uh, get set up and get pegged out about 30 yards from the warren and see what we can get. Okay, bye for now. Okay, so I got settled into position. And it took about 20 minutes or so to, for the first one to come out. Ignore the time and date. So I did a, uh, a firmware update on the scope and it reset the date. And I forgot to change it back. But I did after this. I've not gone five years back in time. In the next clip I've actually corrected the time. So we're alright from there onward. There you go, 20 past 8. About 20 minutes later, two rabbits out, a young one and an older one. 
So I'm tossing a coin, but I'm probably thinking go for the older one first because the young ones uh, don't run as much as the older. You can notice there's one in the background as well behind the hedge. So that's the adult. The one behind the hedge never came out. And there's the youngster wondering what's going on. Take him as well. That's those two. So that's three within the first sort of 45 minutes, which is great. Okay, so it's quarter past nine. This is me filming where I'm hoping to be shooting as soon as it starts to get dark. Quick cup of tea, and then down there, trying to dip the bread in that lot. But obviously, in a bit, you'll see it quite work out like that. Okay, so now I'm playing with the rangefinder now, it's dark. And I'll just show you, it's actually on its bracket now. And if you look at the, it's a bit blurry because there was a floodlight on. But if you look at the laser ping, and you'll see in the bottom right hand corner the distance, the scope changes the distance to match the laser ping 33 yards. This one's a bit closer, you can see directly in front of me. Pick something to point it at the tree. 29 yards, you can see the, the distance change in the bottom, which also changes the um, crosshair to allow for hold over, hold under, or whatever. Really good. Okay, now well, this is why it didn't quite go to plan because along comes Charlie and ruins the evening down there. So you can see it's 10 past 10, there's been nothing out at all. So then I decided to go back up to where I got the first three, and there's a couple more out. So I ping this guy 52 yards away, and then 49 yards away, and I'm trying to, I'm stood with the gun at this point, and then I've just managed to get down on the bipod, hoping it'll come towards me on the grass. And obviously, being a youngster, he doesn't do as he's told, and promptly bubbles off behind the hedge. So he goes away and uh, never to be seen again. Just thinking that he may be a little too far for a young one to take a shot. It's a very small target area on a baby one. So I decide not to. Just let, I was hoping he'd come within about sort of 35, 40 yards, but he never did. So there he is. I'll remember his face for next time. So I moved up a little bit further, This is these two are where I shot the, the two that were together earlier on. I pinged them and it's 44 yards, so I wind in the magnification. Now I'm sure I hit him here, you can see I'll slow down the shot in a second. But that pellet looks like it went straight between his eye and his ear, which is the exact place you'd want it. There we go. pull the trigger and there it goes and I don't know can't explain that one just didn't seem to bother him unless it just missed something vital the, this is him here didn't seem particularly hurt or anything so I have another go and there he goes got him okay so that was four in the bag not a bad little evening's effort for a few hours even though Charlie tried to ruin the party, and did. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.